فإن اتبعت سبيلهم فموفق وإن ابتدعت فما عليك معوف How do we protect ourselves and our youth against the danger of الشهوات through the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to be constant in the worship of Allah Jalla fil Ula through fasting, the prayer, coming to the masajid, sitting and staying with the righteous people. This is how we can protect ourselves and our children. And also our children, we cultivate them upon ibadah. We teach them to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, العبادة في الفتنة كهجرة إلية. That a person who turns to worshiping Allah سبحانه وتعالى in times of fitna, in times of desires and calamities and problems, is like a person who is making hijra to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. So whenever these fitna, whenever these calamities and problems befall us or afflict us. Then the Muslim, he turns to the worship of Allah Jalla fil Ula. This is the first <coughs> danger upon the Muslims and especially the Muslim women and the Muslim youth, as shahawat And this is, we protect ourselves through the taqwa of Allah and through worshiping Allah Jalla fil Ula. The second danger, which is very important, is a shubuhat And shubuhat or doubts, that are thrown upon us to make us doubt Islam or to make us doubt about our Aqeedah. And again, the Muslims, more specifically the Muslim women and the Muslim youth, they are facing a severe danger when it comes to these doubts. So sometimes the doubts are coming from the Kuffar and sometimes the doubts are coming from within Islam meaning different sects, different people, all of them are bringing doubts in order to confuse the Muslims and take them away from the true, authentic Islam which the Prophet ﷺ came with. Like the Prophet ﷺ said, Du'atun ala abwaabi jahannam. Du'at, people are calling but they are sitting on the doors of hellfire, na'udhu billah. Trying to keep people away from as sirat al-mustaqim, away from the straight path. And how does a person protect himself and his family, his children from ash-shubuhat, from the doubts of misguidance? Through knowledge, through al-ilm, through knowledge. Because when a person has knowledge, when a person seeks knowledge, then he has yaqeen, he has certainty. And this certainty, this yaqeen, it makes him firm upon the truth. <coughs> so this is the first benefit of us seeking knowledge. That it will make us firm upon the truth. That doubts of misguidance, they won't affect us bi-idhnillah. Why? Because we have learned principles. We have learned knowledge. We know a hadith. We are upon guidance from our Lord. So these misguidances, they don't come to us. But the person who is ignorant, doesn't know about Islam, knows nothing about his aqeedah, then the doubts of misguidance are going to get to him very quickly. <laughs> فَقُلْ وَإِنِ ابْتَدَعْتَ فَمَا عَلَيْكَ مُعَوَّلُ